For the remaining exercise, you will be testing symmetries of polar curves, both the polar axis, fiber 2 axis, and the pole. For the first item, we have r equal to 4 cosine 2 theta. Testing symmetry about the polar axis, by applying the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 cosine 2 negative theta, which is equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine of negative 2 theta. And since cosine is an even function, this is equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine 2 theta. And since this is exactly the original equation, the curve is symmetric about the polar axis. Testing symmetry about the pi over 2 axis by making the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 cosine 2 times the quantity pi minus theta. This is equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine of the quantity 2 pi minus 2 theta. And since cosine is a periodic function, this is also equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine of negative 2 theta. Again, using the property that cosine is an even function, this is equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine 2 theta. Hence, the curve is also symmetric about the pi over 2 axis. Now, testing symmetry about the pole, by, by applying the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 cosine 2 times theta plus pi, which is equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine of the quantity 2 theta plus 2 pi. Since, since cosine is a periodic function, this is also equivalent to r equal to 4 cosine 2 theta, and hence, the curve is symmetric about the pole. The graph of the curve is shown below. In fact, from a remark in the previous lecture, if a polar curve is symmetric about two of the three, polar axis, pi over two axis, and the pole, then it is symmetric with respect to all three, which means after testing the first two uh, types of symmetries and obtaining a positive result for both, then automatically the third uh, symmetry test will also yield a positive result. For the second item, we have r squared equal to sine 2 theta. Testing symmetry about the polar axis by making the following replacement, we get r squared equal to sine of 2 times negative theta, which is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of negative 2 theta. Now, since sine is an odd function, this is equivalent to r squared equal to negative sine 2 theta. The obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Let's try the second test for symmetry about the polar axis. By making the following replacement, we get negative r quantity squared equal to sine 2 of the quantity pi minus theta. This is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of the quantity 2 pi minus 2 theta. And this is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of negative 2 theta since sine is a periodic function. And using the property that sine is an odd function, we get r squared equal to negative sine 2 theta. Again, the obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Therefore, no conclusion can be made regarding symmetry about the polar axis. Now, in testing symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, by making the following replacement, we get the following. r squared equal to sine of 2 times the quantity pi minus theta, which is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of the quantity 2 pi minus 2 theta. And using the property that sine is a periodic function, this is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of negative 2 theta. And since sine is an odd function, 
this is equivalent to r squared equal to negative sine d theta. The obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Now using the second test for a symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, we get negative r squared equal to sine of 2 times negative theta, which is equivalent to r squared equal to sine of negative 2 theta, which is equivalent to r squared equal to negative sine 2 theta. Again, the obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Again, no conclusion can be made regarding symmetry of this type. Testing symmetry about the pole, we get negative r quantity squared equal to sine 2 theta, which is equivalent to r squared equal to sine 2 theta. Hence, the curve is symmetric about the pole. The graph of the curve is shown below. Note that based on the graph, we observe that the curve is not symmetric about the polar axis, nor about the pi over 2 axis. For our final example, we have r equal to 4 plus sine theta over 2. Testing symmetry about the polar axis by making the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 plus sine of negative theta over 2, which is equivalent to r equal to 4 minus sine theta over 2, since sine is an odd function. Since the obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, the test fails. Using the second test, by making the following replacement, we get negative r equal to 4 plus sine of the quantity pi over 2 minus theta, theta over 2, which is equivalent to negative r equal to 4 plus cosine of theta over 2, since sine and cosine are cofunctions. Multiplying both sides by negative 1, we get r equal to negative 4 minus cosine theta over 2, and this is not equivalent to the given equation. Hence, the test fails. Therefore, no conclusion can be made regarding symmetry about the polar axis. Testing symmetry about the pi over 2 axis by making the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 plus sine of the quantity pi minus theta all over 2. This is equivalent to r equal to 4 plus sine of the quantity pi over 2 minus theta over 2. And since sine and cosine are cofunctions, this is equivalent to r equal to 4 plus cosine theta over 2. The obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Using the second test by making the following replacement, we get negative r equal to 4 plus sine of the quantity negative theta over 2. Since sine is an odd function, this is equivalent to negative r equal to 4 minus sine theta over 2. And multiplying both sides by negative 1, this is equivalent to r equal to negative 4 plus sine theta over 2. Again, the obtained equation is not equivalent to the given. So the test fails, and no conclusion can be made regarding symmetry about the pi over 2 axis. Now, testing symmetry about the pole by making the following replacement, we get ne negative r equal to 4 plus sine theta over 2. And multiplying both sides by negative 1 gives us r equal to negative 4 minus sine theta over 2. This equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails. Using the second test by making the following replacement, we get r equal to 4 plus sine of a quantity theta over 2 plus pi over 2. 
This is equivalent to r equal to 4 plus cosine of negative theta over 2 since sine and cosine are co-functions. And since cosine is an even function, this is equivalent to r equal to 4 plus cosine theta over 2. The obtained equation is not equivalent to the given, hence the test fails, and again, no conclusion can be made regarding symmetry of this type. Now, the graph of the curve is shown below. Note that based on the graph, we observe that the curve is symmetric about the polar axis even though it failed all suggested tests of symmetry, which leads us to the following remark. If a polar curve fails a symmetry test, it does not mean that the curve will not exhibit that type of symmetry. And that's it for this discussion. If you have questions, feel free to contact your lecturer or discussion class teacher. Have a good day.